family welcome back to Melda 242 so today I will be preparing the real Bahamian guava dough if you want to see how this is prepared then continue watching okay here are the ingredients that's the cloth you're gonna need a bowl a sieve some white flour white sugar caragol unsalted butter some eggs of course the guavas salt baking powder vanilla flavoring evaporated milk and water okay now I'm going to add to this bowl three cups of flour okay that's one cup so I'm going to use three of those three heaping cups I'm getting the, the ingredients ready for the dough. Okay, that's three. Three heaping cups. Now that is plain white flour. Next is the sugar. Okay, this scoop inside represents a third of a cup. So I'm going to use like about a half of that cup, a half of that scoop of sugar. Right, all right. Then a half teaspoon of salt. Baking powder. I'm going to use that same third um, scoop and fill that up that's one third so you'll have one third cup of baking powder okay, some for some reason it doesn't want to come out so keep shaking and okay I'm gonna use a knife or something to help me out One third cup of baking powder. Okay, that's it for the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to take my whisk and just mix everything together. So that's the flour, sugar, baking powder and salt combining everything excellent next I'm going to pull the skin off of the guavas I have three guavas that were frozen now they look like that because they were in the freezer and they had to thaw out so That's why they look so delicious. Normally when I get them, I would peel them before I put them in the freezer, but for some reason I didn't that day when my sister brought them over. Nevertheless, I can get it off. Just take my time. Okay, I'm gonna peel one on camera and the other two are gonna be done off camera. Just to save some time. Right back. There you have it. They've been all peeled. Now I'm going to take this, use this spoon to separate the seeds from the flesh. The seeds go in one bowl and the flesh in another. So I'm scraping off the seeds. The seeds are going to be used 
for the sauce and the flesh are going to be placed in the middle of the dough. The seeds has to be, the seeds have to be strained. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, that's the flesh. It has to be washed and cut up. It's one down. nice treat calls for a lot of work so I remember as a little girl having this for lunch when you come from school we had to come home for lunch so when you come from school lunch time this would be prepared man I used to be so happy Ooh. the reach mommy would say I have a surprise for you my sisters and I go to town. You go back to school, you belly full. No goodness. But today now it's used as a dessert. So. Times have changed. So I'm just pulling off, pulling the seeds off. We're just scraping them off. And then I'm going to wash the flesh and then cut it up. And like I said before, the seeds are going to be strained. You don't want the seeds in the duff or in the sauce because it's going to be hard to chew with the seeds in, in, the, in it. The seeds are going to be separated. What you want is the pulp. They've all been washed. Now they're ready for the cut. That's the seeds. All right. Those bad boys are gonna get strained. Okay, I'm gonna give my hand a quick rinse and back. Okay, I'm putting one egg into the flour mixture. One egg. Okay. That's the egg. A half a tin of this evaporated milk. Of course, that's room temperature. A little bit more. Now I'm going to combine those together. My hands are clean. the water. I'm not going to put all of the water in all at once. I'm going to put it in in sections. As I mix, I'm going to put it in. Now this is the part most persons don't like to do. They do some mixer, but I am an island girl and I know how to work my hands. Alright, more flour. More water, sorry. Yes, it's going to be so good. Wow. I love the feel of it on my hand. So that's what you want it to look, look like. And then you're going to add some more flour to bring it together. To bring it home in a ball. So I'm adding another scoop of flour to that. The entire scoop. Press that on the side. Okay. Now working. Bring it home now.
there in the counter, or put it on the counter, and begin the kneading process. Flour on the counter. I'm going to work it. Use my hands and work it. Now I like to make it but I don't really need it as much. Probably I'll take a slice. But I just love to make it. I enjoy making these. I ate too much of it when I was younger. I guess. Okay, I'm bringing it home. Just a little bit more flour on the counter. You would know when you need more flour because the dough is going to be sticking to your hand or to the countertop. And that's the signal for more flour. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much flour because it's going to be tough. Just a little sprinkle and you work it. That's the dough. Put that down a bit. Now I'm going to prepare the gawa. The guavas are going to be cut up. This is the, to be added to the center of the dough. I just love to cook and bake. I don't really eat it like that, but I just love to make people happy. Food makes you happy, so that's what I like to do. Just add a little bit of sugar, like about a tablespoon to the guavas. Okay, I'm just going to add that in. A little bit of banana flavoring. Okay, that's one tablespoon. Little mix. Now that's the flesh. Now I'm going to roll this dough out to prepare it for the guava that I'm going to put in the middle, in the center of it. Stretch it out. Okay. The same way, if the, if the dough is sticking to that, just add a little flour, and that would remedy it. Just like so. All right. Now the guava. Oh. Uh -huh. 
add the last then you roll I'm gonna take care of the sides Some people mix the covers in the dough, just mix it up. I thought you're mixing the flour and everything together. Some people make it like that. I've had it like that before. Sometimes I make it like that too. But my daughter doesn't like the guava. She doesn't like to taste the guava. She doesn't like to see the guava. So I make it like this so she can just rake the guavas off. Okay, I am sealing it together. Just like that. Roll it in the flour. I prefer to make the logs because they're easy to cut. They're easier to cut. Whereas if you make the if you make the ball, you're not gonna have perfect slices. I do it through them in logs. Okay. Just like that. Now that's where the cloth comes in. Now this cloth was the pillowcase. All I did is rip it in half. And that's what I'm putting my dough in today. Some people bake theirs. I don't mind the, the island way, the Bahamian way, you boil it. Roll it like you're rolling a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, egg roll, just like that. Roll and fold. Wow, just like that. Now you're going to put it in a, in a pot of water from the top. Not boiling water. Everything should start at the same time. And then you're gonna let that bad boil, boil, boil for one hour. One, 45 minutes there, the least. And it should go for an hour. Now I'm working on the sauce. So that's the seeds. I'm gonna strain them in the sieve. the dough boiling in the sauce. See all the pulp is dripping out, that's what we want. We don't want the seeds in the sauce. Okay, now that's the butter, caragol unsalted butter, and the sugar. Now I was going to add the whipping cream in the back, but I changed my mind. So I'm just going to use the sugar, the sugar butter egg vanilla. And that's it. So I didn't put the whipping cream in. time Quick scrape now this part here is the longest because you have to, you have to really fluff this um, fluff the butter and sugar eggs together really let it mix. This is the longest. So that's why you should leave it to you will prepare this while the dough is cooking. It's only two eggs I put in that now. Only two. And 
it on this package of Paragol unsalted butter, a cup of sugar, and two eggs. That's what you want. You want it to look like ice cream. Now I'm putting the vanilla in the guava instead of putting it in the, in the butter sauce. Putting the vanilla in that. Two tablespoons. And then I'm going to fold it in. With the party, yes. from the seeds now all right now I'm going to fold that in the butter sauce and spoon at a time of it. Alright, looking good. Some people use um, alcohol in theirs. You can, you can use gin. If you don't want to use the vanilla, you can use the gin alcohol. Gin, gin one, G-I-N. You can use brandy or Bacardi. We call it bat rat. Bacardi rum. You can put that in the sauce as well. Either one, but I'm using vanilla today, the vanilla flavoring. There you have it, that's the sauce. All right. It's nice and thick. Once you put some of that over the hot dough, it's going to melt and just be creamy. Okay, that's a signal. I just love making people happy with food. is important. Okay. Just like so. Just like it to be nice. That's the sauce. All right. Go over that sauce. That's dough in the pot. That's the duff. Show you the time. So I have like 10 more minutes or so. 7 o'clock. Just give you a little peek. I can look inside now. That's it. Okay. Now it's time. 7.16. Seven sixteen. Now. Turn the stove off. I'm going to take it out of the pot onto my cutting board. Now you have to be careful. This is extremely hot. So, like I said, some people bake this. No, I mean, this is no baking. This is boiling. This is the original guava duff. Okay, that's how it looks. Just taking off the cloth. Mommy made it in a pillowcase, and that's what I'm doing. All right. 
signature there again. That's a signal. It's just a signature thumb. It's good. That's it. Something came out to the bottom, but that's okay. It's not going to change the flavor. Rest this day. I'll wash that up in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to hold it in place and just cut because it's hot. Perfect. That's the coat, that's the, sorry, the guava in the middle. It's not in the middle, but it's there. Some is there. All right. Nice slices. I probably will have a slice, but I just like to make it. Okay, some for my husband now. Alright, good. That is sufficient. That sauce. Look at it. Whew. That's Bahamian guava duff. The real thing. Put the sauce on it. Sauce is gonna melt and become even more creamier. That's it. Oh boy. Oh, that's Bahamian guava stuff. Try some today. You'll love it. That's a hit.